Hello, I'm Roman Rodericks, and uh, this is Chapter 1, Introduction of Physics. And this is the first lesson. Okay, uh, first let us define physics. It comes from a Greek word, physikos, which means natural. Now, physics is a study of energy and matter in space and time and how they are related to each other. For example, velocity and acceleration are used by physics to show how things move. Physicists uh, study the force of gravity, electricity, magnetism, and the forces that hold things together. Now, there are various branches of physics and some of them are given below. Uh, mechanics is that branch of physics which deals with the motion of objects with or without the influence of force. When you have electricity, it is concerned with the phenomena of effects related to electric charges. Electromagnetism, it deals with the uh, observations, principles, laws and methods that relate electricity and magnetism. We have solid state physics. It is concerned with the structure of properties of solid materials. The atomic physics is concerned with the structure and properties of the atoms. Then we also have nuclear physics. It is the branch which uh, is concerned with the structure and properties and reactions of the nuclei of the atoms. Plasma physics, it is concerned with the properties of highly ionized atoms forming a mixture of bar nuclei, nuclei that is without uh, electrons and electrons. Then we also have biophysics. It is concerned with the application of physical methods and explanation to biophysical system and structures. We also have astrophysics. It is concerned with the study of the physics of astronomical bodies. In addition, in addition to these branches, there are other branches like particle physics, optics, etc. Importance of physics in daily life. There are various importance of physics in our daily life. Uh, some of them are given below. Physics studies the origin, propagation and properties of sound. The buzzing sound of an alarm clock helps you to wake up in the morning as uh, uh, for your schedule. And the uh, sound is something that you can't see but hear or experience. The foremost principle of physics used in the atom uh, in the steam ion is heat. Heat is thermodynamics. It is a type of uh, energy transfer from a warmer substance to a cooler one. Right after you wake up in the morning and start preparing for your school office, uh, you need an iron clothes and that's where physics comes into play. The steam iron is such a machine that uses a lot of physics to make it go. Mm, besides that, um, have you ever noticed that on which principle does your car seat belt work? Well, again, physics. When you tighten your car seat belt, it works on the concept of inertia. Inertia is unwillingness or laziness of a body to change the state of rest or motion. In case of a car collision, your seat belt helps prevent your body from moving in the forward direction as your body resists being stopped because of inertia motion. So you can easily walk uh, because of physics while you walk in a park or a tar road. You have a good grip without slipping because of a sort of roughness or resistance between the soles of your shoes and the surface of the road. This resistance which is responsible for the grip is called friction and um, when you uh, step on a banana peel, uh, you slip and uh, you fall. Now, what makes you fall is again uh, due to friction, there is less friction between your shoes and the surface of the road because of the slippery banana peel. When you get tired of work or studies, listening to music comes handy. When ever you think of uh, using a headphone or earphone well it's again because of physics the concept of magnetism and sound waves are involved in the size of your headphones or earphone when you plug your earphone or headphone into an electrical source the magnet uh, in your headphone or earphone creates an electromagnetic field which ultimately results in sound waves uh, there are other importance of physics as well. Uh, the phenomena of selfie has engulfed people of every age group. You entertain yourself by clicking photos. The lens used in a camera work on the principle of optics. The set of convex lens provides the cam with an image outside of the camera. Cell phones have become like oxygen gas in modern social life. Hardly anyone would have been untouched by the effects of a cell phone. Whether conveying any urgent message or doing incessant uh, gossips, whatever. But uh, do you know how does a cell phone work? It works on the principle of electricity and electromagnetic spectrum um, and the leading uh, uh, patterns of electromagnetism. 
So I hope it is clear to you all the importance of physics and uh, what is physics all about. Hope to see you in the next lesson. Till then, take care.